Hi, my name is Bjorn Berendt, and I am an IT coordinator for a school in Vermont. Uh, recently, we've been looking to replace our aging smart boards, and we're a big Chromebook school, so we wanted something new, innovative, um, and that would work with the Chromebooks. So one of the first things we found is actually the JTouch board. Um, it's basically a 65-inch touchscreen TV. Uh, it works perfectly with Chromebooks. Been very happy with it. Uh, the Epson Bright Link uh, interactive projectors we also found works well with the Chromebooks. But also in this, we needed an alternative to the smart notebook software. We needed a whiteboard app that worked with the Chromebooks and worked well. And after doing some research, I came up with Zeitboard. Uh, it's a great little app. Basically, when you go to it, you go to app.zeitboard.com. And once you do, it opens up in this full screen window. The full screen window happens to be something that many of the whiteboard apps that I tested out did not have. So this was a very good advantage. Um, no other drivers, no other thing. I can start writing as I would like right away. Um, how it works is you have the option to take your pencil, you can change your color uh, however you want. There is a free and a pro version. Uh, the pro version looks like it'll cost, I think around uh, $75 a year per uh, user. So you might want to talk to them depending on how many users you have if you want the pro version. If not, uh, I have my math teacher's been using the free version and not having any problems with it. So right in here, you had three colors, you have several different sizes. Uh, you even have text sizes in there. And the text is actually kind of hidden. It took me a little while to figure out how to do this. So if you want to write something in text, you actually just draw a little tiny dot. Uh, you open up the keyboard, and then you start typing. And that's how you can get um, text on this field. Uh, unlike slide base, uh, which the smart board is, this is actually more of a canvas. So you can take it, um, and as you're writing, we're going to put that up there, and then we're going to write some more. Um, sorry, my smiley faces are the thing to do. I can do some math and things like that. You know, 4 plus 5 equals 9. Uh, and then you can kind of keep moving things where uh, I can undo the last one. The eraser is kind of cool because it works. Basically, it erases an element. Or you can drag, oops. Or you can drag and erase an entire element which is different. Uh, the moving, you can actually zoom in and zoom out using two fingers. And you can even rotate a little bit. So that's kind of like a fun little way of doing it. Uh, if you want to clear all, you can hit the double tap on the eraser and hit clear all. So, whoops, put my little smiley face back. Uh, once you have your content in there, get rid of that, move him to the center. You can come over here and you have some options. Uh, first of all, if you want to share this with your students, you're going to want to export it. So you click export. It allows you to export either just what you see on the screen or the SVG will do the entire board, which is a nice um, way of sharing it. SVG is a type of image file, so a lot of the image viewers will be able to read that without an issue. Also under here, you can publish it to the web. So if you have it on a website, if you built something and you want them, want the students to interact with it and see it, maybe it's a lesson plan, uh, you can go in there and they can move things around, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, so it's a great way to take these boards and distribute them. Uh, I'm not going to go into the feature right now, but it does have sharing capability. So you can take this and um, share the link 
And when you do, they can take their Chromebook or they can take uh, their phone and actually contribute to the same whiteboard that you are uh, showing. So that's it. Uh, again, my name is Bjorn Barrett. I, again, I'm the IT coordinator for School Over in Vermont. Um, I, I do host a blog at edlisten.com. So thank you very much and have a good day.